almost reminds me of a PK chewing gum colour. <laughs> right. Well, welcome to a new Dave's Classic Garage Tours video, and here is the second part of my recent visit to Grand Tora, just prior to the All Four Day event at Geelong. The boys are busy as usual prepping a few of the cars to go along, so I was grateful Dan gave me time to have a look about. Right. That's something I haven't seen before on any of the car that they passed through here. And it's uh, for sale, what have we got? It's, uh, yeah, it's so an XB, the, isn't it, with the bumpers? The, yeah, so. correct. XB, yeah. GT. It's like the um, orange one that I've buggered up on the sound. But Yep. This is the one that was on the hoist last time. We were doing oh, yeah, some mechanical yeah, work. Yeah. Um, so the car's currently for sale now. Um, Tell us about that spec. I don't see this area. Well, yeah, I've never so seen it. Yeah, so cloth trim. So that was a factory option. You could have either a plain white seat or you could order this as W2 what they call on the ID tag right, okay. on the option sheet, oh, wow. which is white with number two is like a cloth insert. Awesome, I think that's bloody awful. Yeah. Considering the... It uh, breaks up the trim. Wow, and... Especially if you're a Collingwood supporter, it looks pretty good with the black and white. <laughs> Absolutely. And in the Australian summer, a darn sight more comfortable to sit on. Oh, it would be. Imagine. You don't get on hot seats and yeah, hot yeah. vinyl. I mean, yeah. Christ, even my... <laughs> Leather seat, I got it on it in a sunny, um, sunny afternoon and burnt me uh, back to backside this yeah, afternoon. Yeah. So this but is a fairly high, highly optioned car, this one. Yeah. Sunroof. What's the, um, what uh, colour is this one? Uh, it's Bramble's Red as a Bramble's factory colour. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a cracking. And it's had and a slight uh, colour the, change yeah. in its life. A little bit darker red, but it's factory Bramble's. Right. You can actually see the original colour. If you look here, it's that lighter sort of, oh, sort of right, bright yeah. orange colour. Orange. Oh, right, that's the same as the bonnet over yeah. on the on the panel van, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. correct, same colour as that. Okay, so it's not at a full, what, what would happen here? What's, what's... Oh, it's just worn through a worn little bit. Worn through there, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. So the story is behind the car that the, the guy who owned it, his wife didn't like the colour. Oh, so she... Uh, yeah, talked him into changing the colour. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That bloody, I love that interior. It looks like a badger or something. Mm. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Did many of them, did many of them get spec that like that? Yeah, actually the next car will show you that one because that's right. a little bit even more unique. Well, let's do that. Yeah. We've got a few XBs here at the moment. This one's just come in for some mechanical. This is amazing. This is I've never seen this colour yeah, before. Yeah, I love this colour. It's called Skyview Blue. Uh -huh. uh, almost reminds me of a PK chewing gum colour. <laughs> right, yeah. That blue colour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's got a sunroof and everything in it. But the, the actual trim in this one. Oh, it, this has got a real unusual colour. Ooh, right. Yeah. Two cloth trimmed cars in one day. Amazing. And this is original, this has been had a repaint. Oh. Yeah, had yeah. a repaint, semi restored. Yeah. Um, and just coming in for some mechanical work. Nice, good. Is it something you've been looking after for a while, this car? or? Yeah, I think it got sold a few years back out of Sydney. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we're just doing a bit of stuff to make it a bit more sort of. Driver friendly, there. right? Okay, um, tell me about it. Um, so just even some things like out of steering box lights, so I'll pull the, pull the steering box out of it and um, fixing the lights on that. Um, stuff like he wants to have a look at the air conditioning, get that working. Um, yeah, so there's a bit more list of stuff to be now done. Yeah. Right, okay. Always a bit of an issue with the golden sandwich. Right. As they get wearing them over the years. Yeah, yeah. Start and what, sorry, what is this? Is an X, another XB as well? XB yeah? as well, yeah. yeah. Cool. And um, what engine? Uh, just a standard 351. 351. Yeah. Okay. It's actually a light car, it's a 976 XB. Oh. Um, so it'll be a 2V. Uh, well, sorry, in, in code? Uh, 2V. 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 Cool. So okay. 2V heads for four Venturi Carby. So it's like a 351 4V sticker. Okay. But that's all that goes to the car. Right. Okay, lovely car. Lovely colour. 
Spectacular. Yeah. Highly awesome, two power steering, aircon, electric windows. So the B2, what's that, uh, what I mean? So that's in regards to the trim as they come down the production line. They'd written that on the support panel and basically they knew what trim to put into the car when it was coming down the line. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so the XB that I've uh, bullsed up the uh, sound on on the last video. attempt to get that sorted out um, at some point um, so it's done it's uh, it's gone off to the owner he's had a couple of months a month or two with it put some put some miles uh, on it hasn't gone back yet so oh isn't it done, we've done a couple of little things ah. that, um, remember when we drove the car tires on it right they were just old wheels so okay we've just put some new tires on it yeah and, uh, Done the fresh. We decided to go with. I had a red wall on it, but we decided to do an orange wall on the tire. Is that an option? Blends in. Yeah, some of the tires actually wear like an orange color. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, sort of tire. Yeah. Orange color. So it sort of suits in with the color of the car. Yeah. Okay. And what else do we pick up on the? Just a little bit of space. So we sorted the boot now. We've got the spare wheel in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we got to tie Okay, yeah. Right, yeah. Finish the boot off. All right, so he still hasn't had the pleasure of a driver. Has he had a drive himself? That's what else we did to the car. We had a couple of comments on the crash pad, so we've now oh. put the original and. Oh, yes, I do remember. We've repaired the, the crash pad. That's the factory crash pad that came out with. Yeah, I remember now. We had a bit of a. Yeah, back and forth see, on that, didn't we? Yeah. The fitment on this is so much better. Yeah. We said to the owner of Savernia's the thickness of the. Reproduction, risk or reskin crash pad, not reproduction. Yeah, you know, that's how it came to you, wasn't it? And yeah, that's how it came to yeah. us. We put it in the car. I didn't really like the fitment of it, um, so that one's just so much more snug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. They almost fall in the original crash pads versus the reskin ones. You really got to play around and get the fitment yeah. so it'll actually clip in properly. Right, right. We got the, and that's the. Looks like the. New steering wheel on it, or yeah, so the steering wheel. So, right, got that protective cover on. Beautiful. It. Okay. So that's all been done now. Beautiful. Okay. So okay. when's he getting it back? Um, probably a couple of weeks. We'll have it ready for him to go. Yeah. We're just going to do a couple of other little things on the car, and then um, yeah, that can be ready to sort of go back to him and start driving it. Beautiful. Okay. All right, well, we attempted to get uh, the new uh, parts manager, is Luke, to talk about his uh, Mustang. His project Mustang. Okay, but he's not up for that. Yeah, I can give you a bit of a talk through on that one. Okay. This is where, uh, unfortunately, Aussie, Aussie only car fans turn off now. Yeah, this is a bit of a Wow. Fastback. Look at the colour of that. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. You can see that in real life. Yeah. So the... Um, done it even. Ooh. This is how they were with the factory seal of punk in yeah. it. So just tried to do that all original. Right. So that's amazing. I mean, I'd imagine a lot of American people would have a fitness in that kind of thing. Yeah, it actually looks quite rough, but that's how they work. That's how they work, yeah, yeah. Um, and what about overspray? Do they have yeah, that kind of thing going on? Yeah, probably get in there and have a bit of a look and see. What they've done there, I think there's a bit of overspray all through oh, here. Yeah, yeah. You can sort of see. Being a dark colour, it's sort of hard to see yeah, it, but yeah. it is there. Yeah, just about to pick that up. Okay. Wow. The part I like about it is the trim colour. All right, what have we got going on there? Oh, oh yeah, there, that white colour trim. Uh huh. Sure look fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Cut the seat to be similar, yeah. So, yeah, I'll yeah. Take so. All right, buddy. Well, uh, thanks for another little walk about. And um, well, yeah, sorry, I was just going to say, what we got all over here? Uh, so this is actually a restoration that's come in. Oh right. Um, we've been clearing shelves. Come in sort of last minute. We got the stuff here. So this is all the parts off the car. 
it's all been done to EMS, slowly sorting through and working through the parts. Right. Um, and we've created a shelf for him, which we have to clear. Yeah. So we're running out of shelf space here with cars and parts and stuff. Yeah. So this is a GT, would it be? Or? Yeah, so this is a sort of Fox XW GT, right. 1969. Okay. So it's got the reflective orange stripes on it. Okay. It's quite smart looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where's the body? So the body's painted. So probably in the next few weeks the body will be here and we'll okay. start assembling the car. Yeah. But we're just slowly working through all these parts and getting things sorted and into tubs. So we've got a shelf there with all the yeah, large black tubs happened. and we've labelled them interior, engine bay. So we're just working through the parts yeah. there. Cool. Trying to clear our hoist area. Yeah. And what's this process take? You know, this login and document and all this sort of thing. How long does that take? Oh, there's a fair bit of time in it. Um, yeah. And stripping everything. We've got to strip every component. We have our plating buckets. And oh yeah. So some stuff like the stuff here that's on the floor there. Going to get phosphated. Right. So it's a different process. It comes out by being very phosphate colour. Okay. Um, okay. Certain things we've got to repair and restore, and you know, certain things are broken, so they need replacing, like this air vent. Yeah. It's all buggered. Yeah. And pieces broken out. Yeah, nice. So we'll seek replacements for that sort of thing. So what about 3D printing? Would you consider that for this sort of thing nowadays? We've looked at it for small little parts, but certain things it's obviously better to do injection moulding. Right, right, okay. Which is the proper way to do it. Yeah. But is somebody out there making those things? Or, or? Not these at the moment, no. Right. Yeah. So what's the... That's a big old process though, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. Expensive? It is expensive to tool up to make something like yeah. this. Yeah. And what would you make a batch of them so you can put that on yeah, the shelf? Yeah, that's the biggest problem. A lot of the manufacturers, the components themselves are cheap, but it's the amount you've got to buy. Yeah. So you might have to make like four or five thousand of these. Oh. But geez. they'll be cheap in, in price. Yeah. But, but you've got your tooling on top, so you've got to recoup the first batch of maybe 500 units you might sell off just to recoup your money back on right. the tooling. Yeah, how many. They're going to be sitting on the shelf. Is I mean, are they only yeah. for a Falcon? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but generally, probably eighty or ninety percent are broken in some form like this. Right. It was a common. They weren't very thick. Okay. Okay. So they, they'll be sold eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But somebody's. So is that a grand tour outlay that's going to have to be done, or? or s no, I've heard wind of um, another manufacturer making some. Right. So. Okay. Okay. They may be on the market soon enough. Rightio, fair enough. Okay, mate. All right, well, interesting stuff. It's uh, one we uh, know about from the last video, but um, okay. Thanks very much for your time, and I shall see you at... Um, All Ford Day. All Ford Day. We'll okay. see you there. Cheers, Come mate. down for a look. Thanks. Unfortunately, Geelong is a seven-hour round trip for me nowadays, and my nine-year-old, who I had care of that weekend, was never going to be up for that and traipsing around after me on what turned out to be an extremely hot day. Luckily, fellow YouTuber JBC Spotting did make it, and you can see his extensive video of the event via the link in the description. But in the meantime, here's the Grand Tourist stand from the video.